Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Today, we are going to be playing some Slime Rancher 2. Uh, back, back in the day, when I was a lot younger, obviously, the first one came out, and I saw tons of live streamers playing it, tons of content creators on YouTube playing it, and I thought it was so much fun, so I decided to get it for myself. And it was probably one of the most fun and relaxing games I had played in a very, very long time. Um, so I decided, well, now that I have my own channel and creating my own content, I think, what better time than to create this now? Um, I figured that it is a, an amazing time to do so, and I think that now is definitely the time to kind of give it my own shot to go give myself my own playthrough for it. So, but before we jump into the game, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Uh, that type of stuff really does help out the channel. I would really appreciate it. It'll let you know when I release some new content so you guys can come back and kind of check it out. Um, leave some feedback on how you think I'm doing, what I'm doing well, some stuff that I can improve. Um, I really do appreciate the criticism and the critiques so I can push some better content forward. But, without further ado, so it does say save files here. Um, which I'll hit new game. I was originally trying to record this and realized my microphone was not uh, actually on, so I was not able to actually have audio recording. So we'll start here. Um, I chose the nice little squirrel tanuki looking save icon. Uh, we're gonna keep the tutorials on, tar on, feral on, and we will keep the player damage at normal, just so it can be a nice relaxing playthrough as we go through it. Um, that way we can just have a nice, relaxing, but entertaining game. After a long day of slime wrenching, Beatrix Slabeau was enjoying a cool glass of pear juice as she watched the sun set across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock with nothing inside but a mysterious letter. You have explored the far, far range, from the dusty shores of the dry reef to the furthest reaches of the perilous glass desert. But there are worlds yet uncharted, Beatrix Laveau. Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb aboard if you are ready for a new adventure. Hmm. Beatrix excitedly boarded the boat and took her and it took her across the slime sea. Eventually, she saw an island unlike anything on the far, far range. Mountains, trees, and grasses, all in an array of colors that danced and moved like a dream. I'd like to visit that island. Sounds pretty neat. As she explored, she found an abandoned conservatory overlooking the rest of the island. Curiously, it was equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would ever need to wrangle slimes, start a farm, and build gadgets. Sounds, uh... Sounds pretty lucky. And so a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightened her boots, readied her backpack, and set out to explore Rainbow Island and uncover its mysteries. And I, I am just as excited. Honestly, the music in this game is absolutely amazing. I'm loving it. And the art style, oh! Look at this. So we have our normal Wasid for moving. I'm assuming... Get yeah, right click to kind of click them in, jump, shift for some sprints. We have our stamina bar and health bar on the lower right. Pink slime, their coral hue is scientifically proven to be the color of cheer. Alright, let's see. Give me a little one. So their diet is fruits, veggies, and something else at nutsy. Okay, so we also have, if I remember correctly, the store. So pink slime. They're only 10, they're down right now. So we're up. Those must be the golden ones. It looks like there's room for more. Maybe if we have to discover them, or maybe they'll get released later on. So shoot arms through the corral barrier. Yeah, corral or coral. There we go. We got three of you guys. That's all I got. For now, at least. Um, oh, yes, plorts. I couldn't remember what the gems were called. They were called plorts. Oh, so we got high walls. Demolished plots, 
Music Box. Music Box plays a soothing tune that greatly reduces slime agitation. Air Net. An Air Net is a force bear that covers the top of a corral. It can take a few hits before needing to recharge. A uh, solar shield will encase a corral in a dim shade, protecting slime sensitive to light. Plort Collector. A uh, Plort Collector will vacuum up two types of plorts in a corral at regular intervals, depositing them into a storage tank so long as space is available. And an auto feeder. An auto feeder will drop food into the corral at regular intervals. Just remember to keep it stocked. And that brings us back to the normal. I guess we don't really have any Wi-Fi on the island. That's okay. Fruit, veggies, and meat. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So that is, in fact, their diet. So they eat just about everything. Oh, did get you. Oh, there we go. So it looks like these right here would be... Oh, okay, so we can build a corral, a garden, a coop, a silo, incinerator, and a pond. All right. So we have our big magic tree in the center. Oh, that kind of looked like a heart at first. That was kind of cute. All right, back here we have the archway, an expansion to the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. That is a lot of money to unlock. So if I had to make a guess, I would believe that our next goal is to try to find some food. Kind of like... The Roostro. Food like fruits, veggies, and chickens are used to feed slimes. Try shooting food into the pink slime. They'll eat anything. What is this? No idea what that is. So select back tank and then shoot. Oop. Come here, you. Roostro and a hen head. So just like that, we can take their port. When times you eat, they make plorts. Head on over to the plort market to cash in your plort. Well, I want the plort, but I don't want the... Here we go. Got it. So we'll head over here. Do this. Shoot and get some money. All right, so we get 270 coins. That about covers the basics. Now time to get out there and explore. No matter where your adventure takes you, always keep curiosity and kindness in your heart. All right. I like that. I like that message. Something I should uh, incorporate a little bit more. I wonder if I can strafe up here. Kind of give myself a little look-see. Rainbow fields. Shifting colors like a dream, fading just as quickly. But this game is absolutely beautiful. Now, from what I saw at one point... Aha! I hit M just to see. There is a map. Oh my god, it's huge! Got this island over here, this one over here. Got this area here that I'm guessing is what we have uncovered. And it looks like I'm heading into a new area, which I'm assuming will defog as soon as I'm there, but... Oh my god! There's just so much everywhere! Then there's these little things over here that I discover, but I'm assuming I have to actually buy it to get there, but... Alright. So, we'll take some carrots. Take another one of you. Some pink plorts, or some pink slimes to get their plorts. It's our fastest way to make money currently. Um, I don't think we need too many though. Yes, the pogo fruit. Looking eerily similar to some pomegranates. Oh, come on, you. No, that's it? Okay. We'll come over here, grab these carrots. Um, but yeah, I've said it once, and you're probably gonna hear me say it a ton more times. This game is just absolutely beautiful. We have a little slime statue here and a crystal? I wonder if this is like a, a light, like maybe it'll light up later on. Um, ooh, a little sideway. Oh, there's an arch. Is there some sort of secret? Nope, just uh, something that I could have found in the first place. Not as secretive as I thought it was going to be. Um, but it's beautiful. The exploration was always so much fun in the first game, so I'm so excited to see what this game brings. Um, it looks like we have a little ocean area over here. I'm not sure if we can swim, and I don't feel like testing it. Um, press E to open pot. Oh. Hydro turret. A defensive cannon that will automatically target tar and blast them with water. What? Oh, oh, so it's like a blueprint to build the gadget. Okay. All right, that's 
kind of cool. I don't know exactly when we'll encounter the Tars and kind of like the agitated slimes, but I'm sure we will eventually, sooner rather than later. Um, ooh. Q berries. What are you? An upgrade is needed to harvest this. For now, we'll just take the pogo fruits. Look over at the beautiful ocean. Kind of make our way back. Upgrade is to harvest that too. Huh. So even though this game is still in early release. Oh, oh, come here, you. I want you. I want. Go away. Oh, no. You became the bunny. Come here, you. I want some of these. So cotton slams, a hop, skip, and a jump. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> That's kind of cute. So they eat veggies. So they would go... Oh, well, I guess you guys are coming with me. Oh, I'm full of carrots. Um, let's see, I can take some more pogo fruits. Yeah, so even though this game is an early access, and it said that there's some upgrades and updates, <laughs> is what I meant to say, coming along, I'm certain this game must have a ton already. Um, seeing as how I need all these upgrades, unless they're just not in the game yet, it will be later. Um, but I say we can go head back to our little conservatory and see if we can build a plot for these little bun buns. Activate cross 270. So we'll buy that and shoot you guys in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think is how many I had. And then for you guys, one, two, three, four. So we'll take the pink plorts that I can find. There we go. I'll quickly go sell those so we can get our money for that. And then I will run back to the little bun buns over here and try to get their ports as well. Where is it? Oh, I was going to say, I could hear them. They sound like little rocks hitting each other. Ah, I got out of my way. There we go. Somebody going to eat that carrot? Maybe not, but who knows? Let's see, how many coins is this worth? Oh, it looks like there's some carrots on the ground, so I didn't have to go too far. Oh, they are worth 25. They're on the down. That's okay. That still gave us quite a bit. Um, looks like this is a little gardening center over here. This is a downstairs. Oh, we have our cave. The f oh, the fabricator. The fabricator allows you to craft vac upgrades and gadgets using resources stored in the refinery. Give it a try. So we had... These are our upgrades. So some of these take pink floor for our heart module. As well as some new bucks, um, power core, dash boots. Hmm. Oh, utilities. Okay, so we need 250 new bucks, five puddle ports, 10 bloom ports, and five deep brine. Interesting. Warp tech and decorations. I am interested to see the refinery. In order to fabricate gadgets, you need to shoot some resources in the refinery. But remember, any resource deposit into the refinery cannot be removed. Okay, so this looks like it's what you would get. Lava dust, primordi pri primordial oil, silky sands, strange diamond, radiant ore, jellystone, wild honey, buzzwax. Yeah, that's pretty neat. A little seating area for when you're done with all your gadgets. Oh, a beautiful little cliff. Uh, so we'll run back down here. I'm gonna check around these areas, see in case we're missing something. We'll go a little bit deeper into the cave, it seems. Wait for our stamina to recharge. Head out here. What do we, ooh. Little side path that we can check out. Hmm. I feel like this is just the way over here to these little guys. Yeah, so it just takes us around. Ugh, this music is just so beautiful. Oh my god. We got these guys over here. Got quartz. I will take those. Thank you. Um, 
Let's see. What, what do we have? Oh, so I haven't seen it yet. At least I haven't seen the thing. I wonder if there's like a little like a waypoint marker or something of the sort where if you like interact with it or click it, it'll actually give you the map, which I thought maybe was this, but I guess possibly not. Oh, and it looks like one out of 14, so that might be how many areas. So we've discovered rainbow fields. Ooh, we have our little guy here, but I think they need the nets. I think they only come out at night. But sadly, I don't have the... T Ooh, eat that. Research drone. Accessing GG log. Well, here we are again. I'm sending the drones out to all their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place... I still remember being in awe of the rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. And I guess in a way it was, because it ended too soon. Much too soon. Oh, is there more to that, or is it just that? Gotcha. So, that was all that had. Another cool crystal guy. It's more phosphorus slimes. Yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, phosphorus slimes. Ooh. Oh, okay, so we found it! Okay, cool. So it was one of those. Alright, wow. Okay, so we got the little sandy beach area down here. This looks like a little rocky cave area. I think this is where we went we found that, um, that blueprint. So now we're here. So it looks like either here or here is where you can find the next area. Map data acquired. Discover map data nodes across the range to discover more of your map. Water lettuce. Mm. Ooh, let's see. Get some of the phosphor quartz. Those might be worth a good amount. And then... Hmm. I don't want some of these chickens. Here you go, guys. You can have all the carrots. Oh, carrots for all. All right, now come here. We got the hen hen. Are you all hen hens? Yes. So we got three of them. We'll have to start a little, little farm. Okay, so it looks like... I can get the pogo fruits. Oh, those are cotton plorts. We'll head up here. Let's see what you can find. Oop, hello. Refinery links. Refinery links conveniently transport resources and plorts to the refinery, where they can be used exclusively for slime science in the slime science lab. That is where I would hope they would go. That's probably that right there, but... Accessing GG Log. I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling Jellystone back to the corner, or the conservatory, by hand because I was so excited. Breathless and sweating, I was going about everything all wrong, but I was happy. There's little time now, so I'll need these refinery links if I'm going to be efficient. This time, I'm going to do it right. So I'm assuming that's what this is right here. So it looks like I can shoot stuff into here and be able to take them back later. So... Hmm... Well, I don't want to do any of that yet. It's down here. Ooh. Plus some mushrooms. We got our pink slimes over here, eating. Okay. So we'll keep walking around. Hopefully we can find another one of those map info nodes somewhere. Um, ooh, another hen hen so we can find out where we're exactly going. Because it looks like, yeah, I'm in the area now. So I'm in the new place. I just have not found the map node. Where are you? Oh, this game is so beautiful, except when you think about what we're doing to the chickens. Fuck that rock. Actually, you know what? Fuck that rock, too. Watch that be super rare and important later, and I'm just absolutely launching it later on. Hmm. Well, let's go up here. Just kind of continue our little looker. Oh, oh, I think we found it. I think we found it. Right here. Is the whole area? It is. So, oh, it's okay. So we, this is our little refinery. So it looks like everything else is kind of blocked off by water. So maybe there's like... There's like teleporters, or maybe we'll get that jetpack later on, and we'll be able to go from like the shore here over to the shore there. Um, this to this is a little interesting. 
or maybe you just get down here and you go all the way around. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited to learn more about this game and more about what it entails. Oh, it's stony hen. Okay, so I can't do the same. Or it doesn't count as the same. Alright, so we have our little... Oh, so we have some like, our kitty cat slimes right there. Um, so you guys eat fruits. You know what? I want like your plorts. Yep. Feed him too. Feed that one. Put that. Oh, go fruit, go. Oh, there you go. Eat the fruit. Poop him out. Collect the poop. Throw it again. Throw it way too far. Throw it into the... Okay, I thought I threw it right in the water. Throw it right there. Collect more pogo fruit. Did one of you eat the... Did one of you... Give that back. Let it go. There we go. Right? Somebody eat that? I guess not. Oh, okay. Well, he ate a phosphor plort. Adorable. Oh! It's big dude! It's big Chungu! It's big Ogoro Gordo! So you eat everything, right? Alright, let's uh This is messed up. Chickadoo. So little and soft you'd think they were filled with marshmallow. Are they? Okay, thank god you can't eat them. And then we'll put a cube berry in there. Maybe fire some hen hens. Uh, he's still eating. <laughs> All right, we got a little skull and crossbones over there, probably giving us a nice hint that we should not jump to our imminent death. Um, however, now it looks like I am in the desperate need of more food. Bye, Chickadoo. We don't have to talk about what I just did. Committing an absolute crime. Uh, let's see. Fruits. See. Keep running, keep running. Go find some more stuff. I just kind of want to explore more of the area before we go back. Um, what is that? Is that the thing that I already discovered? No, I actually don't think it is. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I think I done found something on accident. Alright, uh, so up here, and then we can... Oh, that's that tar. Actually, you know what? No. I shall be the hero that we all need. Car slime. Bah! Goodbye! Oh god, they don't go far. Or at least I didn't shoot them far. Go away. Fight for justice! No. Ah! Go! Be gone! Oh, there's so many! Why are there so many? Are we launching them off or are they okay they're sort of just sticking around but i really want to check out what's in that pod okay yeah there's a lot of these guys mm. got rid of you Oh, bang shot. So it was right there, which I thought I would be able to kind of just run around the sides. And get that done. But there's the Gordo, which we did see. And then I thought up here. So looks like you can try to find a way going this way. Hmm. Can I go around? Can I go up? Can I try to strafe... Strafe up here without falling in the water? No, 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 no! Okay, no, maybe that's not... That's not the way. Jump off you, sorry, bud. Um... So maybe I can't get it yet without, like, a jetpack or... Some sort of double jump? Music keeps getting real tense whenever the... Tars are around. Kind of spooky. Alright, so let's see. We are facing the outward, so we have to make our way all the way back. So we'll run, we'll try to collect some some food along the way. 
for our little slimy babies so that they don't go hungry. We have our water cabbages, some carrots. Maybe we can go back and kind of start a farm. I don't know if I have enough gold to start a farm, but we can sure try. Where there's phosphor, yep. Oh, refinery links. It's kind of the same thing already we saw. More carrots. Even more carrots. 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 Fuck it all. Fuck it all. Okay. Oop. And then? And then. Okay. So. I think we can go this way. Uh, I really gotta save up for that stamina upgrade as well because I'm noticing I run out of it very quickly because I like to do things fast. I like to speak fast, run fast, skate fast, smoke grass, eat ass. And with that little bit of stamina, I really cannot do such a thing. So, we'll run up here. Oh, we got some roostros and some hen hens. So, we need to activate. Let's see. So I can do a coop, or I could do a garden. Let's do the garden first. Um, and we will make it. Oop. Okay, so you only have to shoot one, it looks like, and it'll just start growing a bunch of them. Um, oh, you got out. I don't like that. Let's do that. Grab the cotton port, sell those for a little bit of extra cash. Run back. Grab ya. Maybe they need, like, the double high walls or something. Let's see. High walls. Aha, you're all on getting away now. So you guys eat veggies, so we'll go in here. Boom. Boom, boom. That's... Where are you guys think you're going? Get back in there. Oh, I don't know where that- oh, the plot went over there. Three, four... You guys can all get a little bit. Collect these ports. Alright, so this game is really fun. This, I think this is kind of what I've been looking for. Um, as you guys have noticed, if you're on the channel a lot, uh, I play a lot of stuff like League of Legends, I'll play a lot of stuff. Um, like, I just released uh, an Overwatch video, I think, that'll come out a little bit before this one does. So, I've been playing a lot of competitive, um, kind of fast-paced games that, um, you don't really get to just sort of sit here, relax, listen to the music, um, really talk in the video without having to talk about immediately what's going on. Um, and it can kind of seem like a lot, um, but this is fun. I really am excited to kind of get into this and just make a series that I can play and interact with you guys and interact with um, the comments if you guys have any things because I have not played this in a long time so I really don't know who typed me. Okay, so I don't think I have to feed them. I think they'll just... Oh, actually, I think it's because we'll need the Rustro in here as well. And what are the upgrades? Just high walls, spring grass... Uh, track scuttle bugs that chickens love to eat. Okay, so that'll make them... Chickens will grow into healthy hens and roosters twice as fast. Uh, vitamizer. Elder collector safely and gently moves elder chickens away from the younger generation stores them in a collector. Wow. Interesting. Then that predicts them from flying out of the coop, which I hope they don't do now. Those are not ready. So... I think this is a really good way to end off the first video. Um, I had a lot of fun exploring. I know there's tons more to explore. Um, there obviously is a ton of ports over here. There's so many things that you can build in here. There's so many upgrades, uh, so many different slimes already, the different ports, the different combinations. Like right now I could make um, <laughs> one of you guys to get back in there. Um, and feed them, make some combinations, obviously they'd be a lot bigger, but they would make both the ports, which could obviously make me money twice as fast, 
Um, there is this entire map here. We still have to finish the Gordo. This thing over here will help us with some scientific research. And then just saving up money to unlock these areas over here and learn about what's over here and the different upgrades or slimes that we could find, the different food sources, because this is an entirely different game than Slime Rancher 1. So I'm really excited to get back into this and have this entire series go on and for you guys to join me on this adventure. So thank you everybody for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hit the bell notification from when more videos or installments of this series get released to the channel. Um, leave a comment down below for what you liked. Um, some stuff that you think that would work a little bit better. Some stuff that I'm doing correctly. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day after watching this video. So thank you for watching once more. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, hey!